Hi, my name is Sarah Bali. I am the Trust Director of Employability and it's my job to bridge the gap between education and employment at school and sixth form. I have developed an employee-led program and it's been running from about 2016 to ensure that young people develop the employability skills needed for the workplace. It's essential that young people develop those skills and you can see from the slide here that young people were not always prepared for the demands of work. Employers fed back to us and said that Young people lacked some of the skills that were needed for work, potentially because they were not engaging enough whilst they were at school and college. Quite often we would get careers um, education going during our drop down days or our off timetable days. But I think what we needed to do was embed it within the full school and sixth form curriculum to ensure that young people had the skills that were needed for future employment and you can see that even graduates you know are unprepared for employment because they didn't necessarily have the experiences that employers were looking for to make them work ready and not only that the competition between young people when applying for these roles was so intense that it was really important that we embedded careers employability and experiences into our curriculum and that's what i intended to do I developed an employer-led programme in 2016 to bridge that gap and to give students that experience of employment and employability whilst they were studying and I'm really proud of what we've achieved so far. The core of the programme enables the young people to work on the following CBI employability skills which are recognised by employers locally and nationally and it's important that on this program the students are able to work towards achieving some of these skills and collecting the evidence that's needed to support their applications to university uh, apprenticeships and future job roles and it's really important that they do this throughout their school and college life to ensure that they have a strong application that's got lots of evidence and that's what they'd be working towards on this program. The employer-led programme runs in year 12 and partway through year 13. The idea is that those studying for their A-levels in the sixth form will take part in some of the things that you can see on the slide now. The idea is that the programme prepares them for an apprenticeship and prepares them for graduate positions and study when, once they go to university. They engage in a full employability skills development program with Inspire Ignite and Lee Green from Airco. They engage in lots of employer workshops, so we get them in front of employers to develop employer skills. We run a number of masterclasses after college to ensure that young people have an idea about what jobs exist locally and nationally and the skills that they may need when they're in role. We also have a number of employers who wish to work with our students on a more one-to-one -one, um, basis and engage in work um, mentoring and workplace mentoring to develop employability skills. We also like to offer them workplace tours when we can. We have a wonderful company called Viper who um, put on volunteering placements for young people to ensure that they have those skills as well and then I ensure that they develop their applications for apprenticeships by running one-to-one -one sessions with them and we have an excellent tutor team who supports their UCAS applications. The other benefit is that anyone who wants to go into teaching also has a separate program on offer um, to develop teaching skills before they even apply for a teacher training place and that's something that we've been doing for two years now uh, and runs alongside this program. So this program is open to students who are in year 12 um, moving into year 13 who really want to boost and build up their CV before they leave us uh, and the feedback from the students who have been on that program before has been fantastic. The key benefits is that the young people who are on the programme really do 
um, benefit from that engagement with employers. They have the key employability skills, but more importantly, they have evidence of them. This has therefore allowed them to make better decisions about their future and develop as young people. And that experience of industry has been absolutely wonderful. Being able to see what goes on outside of school and college has been really important. And that, as a result, has allowed them to look at the high profile careers that exist um, after sick form, after university. And some of them have really stretched themselves when applying because they feel confident that they've got the skills uh, on their CV to be able to apply and talk about it during an interview. And the whole benefit is that we've managed to bridge that gap between education and employment, which I feel is absolutely essential for these young people leaving us. Not only are the grades absolutely important and exams are really, really important in their next stages and their next steps of life, but they've got to have the skills to be able to get to uh, the interview itself and then hopefully get the job or the course that they were hoping to achieve. We work with lots of employers. We're really proud of the employer um, relationships that we have. I spend a lot of time engaging with employers to ensure that they are able to come into school, able to work with our young people, able to put on projects and masterclasses. Uh, and it's down to the employer engagements really that, that has supported this program for so many years. Um, and the time that they put into this program is absolutely essential. Um, we do have more joining and unfortunately some do leave the program because they've got big projects on themselves so this is an ever-changing picture that you can see uh, in front of you. These are just some of the uh, young people who have done some of the work experience placements so this young lady wanted to be a solicitor she went to a local solicitors and went to court and um, tried different um, functional areas within um, the solicitor's firm, maybe looked at family law, um, maybe looked at um, surveying, um, buying property, lots of different opportunities for her. Um, this young lady wanted to be a, an accountant um, and she went to an accountancy firm. She really enjoyed her time there but realised that it might not be for her. Um, she wasn't sure that it was a, a long-term career uh, and then went on to do something else. So even for those young people who have tried something uh, and then decided that, that it's not for them, it's been hugely beneficial for those young people who may not want to do it long-term um, and save some money and time not, not engaging in any additional training if it's not right for them. Um, we also have uh, young people who want to go on to develop um, healthcare products, cleaning products, who have been to local businesses such as RB um, for some experience and they've been so happy and engaged with uh, the employers that those employers have offered some additional um, work experience in the future so we do get that benefit as well. Um, we've also got young people who go to Aunt Bessie's um, in the finance department. This young lad wanted to be an accountant originally, but after work experience and after spending some time with a marketing team, realised that he wanted to look at what marketing was like and went on to study marketing. At university. And then we also have our teaching employer led program uh, and young people who want to get into teaching can join our specific masterclass uh, program, our work experience program. And these young people go into schools, they go into colleges, they work with young people. They engage in master classes um, with qualified teachers and mentors. And a lovely project is that they get the chance to build resources for schools in Kenya and Laos um, to develop teacher training there because there's no CPD in some of the schools that we work with. And our young people are responsible for the CPD of other staff and their CVs look absolutely amazing as a result of that. So again, if, if anyone is interested in teaching, there's lots uh, to look forward to. These are just some of the photographs of previous students who have graduated from the employer-led program. Uh, lots of activities involved uh, in the program, building cars, if you want to be an engineer, working with local engineers, uh, racing the cars in Hull City Centre. That was absolutely fantastic for those young people who wanted to go into engineering um, or wanted to be an, a mechanic, or even just those who wanted to join uh, a team and work as part of a team. So you can see the successes that we've had with previous students who have applied for a place on this programme. 
And again, going beyond uh, school, what's it like for those young people? We have some successful students who have uh, developed their skills so much that they've then gone on to some of the best apprenticeships, some of the best university courses in the country. And it's all because they've had lots to say on their CV when applying. Just a slide there, uh, showing the, the variety of opportunities that our young people have, have had access to. Uh, university places, um, apprenticeships, and I'm delighted to, to see some of our young people going on to degree level apprenticeships now, which is something you would have never have heard of. Um, young people didn't necessarily have the confidence to be able to apply for such high levels of apprenticeship, but they are now, uh, and they really do have the confidence when applying for those because they've done so much before an application even begins. And it's just wonderful to see the variety there between university and apprenticeships. And we really do push uh, the apprenticeship route uh, if young people are thinking about that and want to explore both university and apprenticeships at the same time. Uh, one of our um, employers who's been with us quite a while now has given the following feedback. Um, he has absolutely embraced the program and as a result of that has been able to plug the skills gap for himself. Um, our young people uh, regularly contact him because they want to work with him after you know so much engagement from that company and he has a, a, a stream of talent knocking on his door which is great for him but great for our young people who have access to such opportunities so quickly and so easily um, and that's got to be a better program. Um, I always love to get the emails at the end of the year when they've got the results but when they've got the job or the apprenticeship that they want and the young people are so grateful to have this opportunity to apply for a program like this uh, and when they send me those emails it is absolutely wonderful to read and makes the job worth it um, and just looking at the levels of apprenticeship that they engage with it's absolutely brilliant to see them applying for such high levels of apprenticeship and lots of them saying that it's the experiences that they had that gave them the confidence to apply um, and it's wonderful for me to see as a teacher that young people are really engaging with employers early enough to be able to apply for such obviously because of covid we've had to change a few things this year and again the the nature of the situation is so fluid and so unpredictable um, we're not sure what the, the new academic year would bring. I'd like to think we'd be back to some face-to-face -face experiences, but I've worked tirelessly um, for the last six months to ensure that the young people on the course now and in the near future have a similar experience. And actually, after looking into what's available, some of the additional experiences and opportunities that have come about as a result of COVID um, will certainly stay. Um, all our young people at the moment are engaging on um, employability skills masterclasses online. Um, we just have the same experience, but through teams. We have an online mentoring program that's, that's starting. So lots of employers are uh, signing up to offer that support via email uh, and Teams meets. Um, we have a virtual work experience program that's starting in October. So again, we're unable to send our young people out at the moment, but we have that going on virtually um, over October half term. And I send out regular um, masterclasses. So we've already had accountancy and marketing. Um, food technology is next. And the young people get to watch videos from national employers, local employers, and engage in some uh, online activities. There is a, a workbook and a manual that the students can use to develop their skills. Uh, and some local employers have also developed some videos uh, and mini projects for the students to complete. So if they're interested in marketing, there's a marketing project from a business called Eskimo Soup. So lots of employers getting involved in new ways of working. We've also launched our Be Ready and Start program. So young people can take modules and print off certificates uh, on some of the skills that I've mentioned previously. So um, communication, problem solving, there's lots of modules that they can take online and achieve certification. And then we also have some excellent online open university courses. For example, if students want to go into accountancy, they can 
take a bookkeeping course through the Open University. If they want to go into digital marketing, we have Google Garage that allows them to take courses and print certificates off. And you, you can already hopefully see that that would look brilliant on a CV or during an interview if the student had proven that they were engaging with employability skills development during such difficult and unprecedented times. So there are a lot of changes this year due to uh, COVID uh, and we are delighted to be able to offer um, a full package of support and employability uh, during these difficult times. So we'll just uh, keep an eye on the situation as to how this would run next year um, under the circumstances. I'm proud of where the programme has come uh, over the last few years. We've been fortunate enough to meet Her Majesty the Queen. Um, we've we've been mentioned in the parliamentary review. Um, I was awarded apprenticeship champion for the work that I'd done on apprenticeships. And the Education Alliance also won the Innovation of the Year Award for the innovative careers programme that we'd managed to develop and build um, for our young people. So lots of recognition and lots of wonderful experiences for me. Um, during these the, the the time that it's been operating, so I'm very 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 proud. And there's some more pictures of me me meeting the Queen with some of our engineering students. In terms of next steps, we always encourage our Year Eleven students to apply for a place uh, on the program. So we have an application form. Uh, traditionally, we would then shortlist and have our students have an interview with an employer. And it's likely that this year our young people will um, apply using an online application form and will then have um, group interviews via Teams. So a little bit of a change for this year. But the students will need to apply for a place on the programme and that's great experience because they're able to you know, develop the skills needed um, to put together a really great application and then they go through their interviews and selection takes place with an employer. I don't select, our employers select uh, the young people for a place on the programme. We currently have around 40 places um, for, a, for, for the programme. Obviously, if there's more virtual opportunities that are existing, I can open that up a little bit more to, to more students. But again, we just need to see uh, what the next year brings to to make a final decision on that, but at least 40 places uh, on the program and more information will go out to you um, regarding the application process, regarding the interviews uh, and when the deadline um, is for that. So I will probably um, write to parents uh, in, in over the next few months and update you on the application. Uh, procedures and process that will be taking place for year 11 going into year 12. So that's the employer-led programme 2021. Um, we will be looking for young people to apply pretty soon um, and I look forward to maybe speaking to some of you, hopefully seeing you in the future at future events if, if they're at all possible uh, and talking a little bit more about this wonderful programme. Thank you.